Welcome back to Desert Smoke Reviews. I'm Wyatt. Justin. Today we're taking a look at another cigar generously sent in to us by Emilio Cigars uh, by Mr. Gary Griffith. Uh, so again, big thanks Mr. Griffith uh, to Emilio Cigars. We really liked every cigar they've sent in so far and we're hoping that uh, this one's the same. This is the La Musa, I might be pronouncing this uh, wrong, but uh, Melete, Melete, something like that. Um, it's a Greek uh, word, but uh, beautiful looking stick. Uh, I'm not sure of the size, but very, very firm, firm pack, very firm pack. As a matter of fact, when I was cutting the cigar, it was almost like difficult to, to get the guillotine through. And I'm kind of worried about that, but um, we haven't seen construction problems in these cigars so far, so hopefully this uh, holds up that standard. Uh, but yeah, beautiful looking stick, like I said, very, uh, very kind of a model wrapper, and it's not very smooth. It's definitely, like Justin says, a, you know, a hand-rolled cigar. Um, quite a few stems throughout. Uh, seams are, are visible, but um, let's see, on the aromas, there's a little bit of like a, like a white chocolate, as opposed to just a regular chocolate or, or coffee or something. On the wrapper, that's really, really nice. Um, and then on the, on the foot, yeah, kind of like a more straightforward coffee, maybe a little bit of like wood and earth, uh, but very, very aromatic. Justin? Yeah, it's a very nice cigar. I'm imagining this is a Toro, I guess some kind of 52 by 6 or something, but it'll be in the video. But yeah, very nice, very, very firm pack. Again, I'm also a bit worried, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, there are quite a few uh, veins. Uh, the seams are done well. Uh, got one little stretch mark here, but shouldn't be a problem. The the aroma off the wrapper in the foot is actually almost the exact opposite of what Wyatt's got. Off the wrapper, I just get a nice like earthy, woodsy tobacco, and then off the foot, I pick up that chocolate. So it's, a, it's the opposite of what Wyatt got. But, uh, hey, that's the way it goes. That's why uh, cigars are same cigar can be a different experience. For each and every one of us. So let's get it cut up, toast it up, and see how it goes. Justin might be right. Very, very earthy and woodsy on that first puff. Maybe a little bit of coffee, but, but the, for the most part, it's just very, very like rich, deep earth flavors. A um, little bit of pepper there at the beginning, but fades away pretty quickly. Yeah, very earthy. Um, like a, a bit of cedar as well, cedar and earth. Very, I don't get very, maybe a touch of pepper, but not very faint. But overall, not a bad start. I don't pick up any sweetness in chocolate, just a nice cedar, wood, and some earth. But uh, is the first few puffs, I'm sure it'll develop into something a little more dense. It's a beautiful looking cigar. So let's get in the first third, see how it goes. Oh, well, we're about 10 minutes in. Um... You know, I was kind of worried because when I first cut the cigar, like I mentioned, the really firm pack, I, I just did kind of a crap job cutting the cigar, but it's held together magnificently. Uh, you know, a little bit of tobacco came off at the beginning, but now it's fine. Um, it's a typical great construction out of these uh, Emilio or House of Emilio cigars. Um, but yeah, the, the flavors haven't changed much. Still mostly getting kind of that uh, woods, woodsy, earthy, cedar. Um, I guess dry earth finish. Um, nothing's really popping at me with this cigar so far. There's still a little bit of pepper in the retro hill, but um, I guess kind of a coffee and tobacco finish. I mean, it's a good cigar, but uh, it's not as complex, at least in, in this first inch, that uh, uh, in comparison with these other Emilio cigars that we've had. So uh, unless something really picks up and changes as we get into the second half, um, I think this might be one of the uh, kind of like everyday smokes from the Elias cigars. But again, still great, no construction problems. Um, so I'm still impressed with these Emilio cigars. I agree, it's a very decent smoke. Um, construction is great. Burn is not razor sharp, but not needing any touch-ups. That ash is holding together really well. I really appreciate it. I mean, the cigar itself is, <coughs> is very nice, very pleasant. No changes in flavors. Uh, it's about a medium in body and about a medium in strength as well. 
the finish. I agree. I don't know if it's coffee and tobacco, but there is something in like a standard rich tobacco. Uh, the front flavors are still very earthy, very like a cedary wood. Um, nothing is really jumping out on me, but I, I do hope that if it is a coffee finish, kind of hope that develops more. I, I enjoy the, the coffee flavors and cigars. But um, yeah, the draw is good. I was also worried about the tight pack, but it seems to be performing really, really well. Again, uh, not super complex, but uh, let's see how it goes. But let's get into the second, third, approach to the midpoint, see if we get any changes. Well, we're about halfway through. Um, no real flavor changes for me. Still getting that, I guess, coffee um, finish. I guess that's intensified a little bit more. But really, no, like I said, no flavor changes. Still getting that overall woodsiness. Uh, I guess cedar. Um, a little bit of earth. A little bit of just kind of that regular tobacco taste you get in, in most cigars. May have been a dumb thing to say. But uh, good cigar. I mean, excellent construction. Haven't had to make a touch up. Uh, great draw. You know, we mentioned before that the pack was really, really tight. But I love this type of cigar that has a weight to it. You know, has a really, really tight pack, but also a great draw. Um, it's not as complex. And I, I, I guess take our review with a grain of salt because it's not as complex and it's not as good as that 1502 black, black, gold. black gold that we smoked from Amelia Cigars. That thing was excellent. I mean, just a paramount, a paramount Is cigar. By Amelia or or no, 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 no. That wasn't that wasn't by Amelia. That was one of the other ones that was sent to us by by Gary okay. Griffin. But uh, you know, so I, I think we're kind of holding that to the same standard. But regardless, excellent, excellent cigar. Um, like I said, no construction issues. Really, no complaints. Yeah, it's a very pleasant smoke. It's um, nowhere near complex. It's very one, very simple flavors. I don't want to say one note, but it's just simple flavors. Kind of a cedary wood, um, nice earth medium body, medium strength, dies into, I would say a coffee and tobacco finish. I would say coffee. It didn't really develop as much as I hoped it would, but it, it has gotten, gotten to be a little more potent. But yeah, just a nice, pleasant smoke. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be more of like an everyday smoke, uh, something rolling around in your humidor that's like a mid-afternoon smoke. It's not, we're at the end of our day and it, it's really doesn't measure up for that type of end of the day, kind of really robust, full flavored cigar is kind of what we look for. But nonetheless, still a very pleasant cigar, something I would smoke definitely during mid-afternoon, maybe even morning. Uh, it's not so much a task cigar because it's, well, maybe maybe it is, but it's a really good task cigar. But uh, so far, really pleasant smoke. Let's get into the final third and see if we get any changes. Well, we're at the final third. Um... Another good cigar from uh, the Emilio Cigar Company or Gary Griffith. Uh, you know, I've had a couple of construction issues in this last third. I've got a big runner here that I haven't touched up yet, uh, mostly because I'm at the last third at this point. But um, yeah, I've got another big piece of the wrapper that's kind of coming up. Um, otherwise, though, I've been just as impressed as I have with the other cigars that uh, uh, Mr. Griffith sent us. Um, construction has been otherwise great. Uh, pretty much flawless. Haven't ever had to make a touch-up. Um, great ash. Held on well. It wasn't flaky. You know, it wasn't falling off the whole time. Um, I think my biggest problem with this cigar is just that the flavors were kind of, uh, you know, I hate to say one note, but they were very one-dimensional. Um, I never got anything outside of what I got in the first couple, couple of uh, puffs. You know, just kind of a good coffee finish um, and a little bit of earth, a little bit of, the, I don't know, there, there just wasn't as much taste and dimension to this cigar uh, as a lot of the other ones that we've had. Um, so, you know, Justin mentioned that this would be a good afternoon cigar, and I totally agree. Uh, it's got enough there to really keep your attention for an after lunch sort of cigar. Uh, I think it might be a little bit too heavy for the morning, maybe in a different size, but uh, yeah, this would be perfect for an after lunch cigar. I wouldn't quite call this like a task or a golf cigar because, you know, again, it has excellent construction uh, and, the, and the tastes are something that warrant your attention enough to focus on them. But, uh, yeah, overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this cigar an 8. It, it's something that I really want to try again, um, you know, and, and we're hoping that, that we see more of, of uh, 
these uh, Emilio cigars around, so solid eight. Yeah, it was a very pleasant smoke. Um, medium in body, medium in strength, but those flavors were very simple to me. It was just, uh, some earth, wood, uh, the finish was just a natural tobacco and uh, some coffee. It, construction, <laughs> I have no complaints of construction. I never had any issues. Draw was fine, even with a nice, firm, dense pack, it was still easy pull. Never needed a touch up, no, no wrapper issues or anything. So, performance wise, this is an excellent smoke. What kill, kills it for me is the, the, the flavors are just kind of simple and one dimensional. Why it said it best with that. I agree, this is an afternoon smoke. And again, yeah, probably not too much of a task cigar because the flavors are there and they, they keep you interested. But, um, I don't think I would go anywhere near as high as wide. I would drop it down to about a seven. It was good. It was pleasant. No issues on construction, but it's just a little too one-dimensional for me. But still, thank you, Mr. Griffin, for sending these in for review. Greatly appreciate it. There's, you know, can't say anything bad about the cigar other than the, the flavors. And it's not that they were bad flavors. They're just very simple and one-dimensional. So yeah, seven. But uh, in conclusion, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, smoke them if you got them.